would like to welcome Junior and Adrian to the floor to sing Hallelujah.
to celebrate him and praise God for his life. 84 years, God has blessed him with life. And to honor that, he has dedicated 58 years, 58 of those years in priesthood. So we have traveled from near and far in inclement weather, some of us because we have heard of his great works, and some of us because we are privileged to have been blessed personally by Bishop Sensai. I join you who are here tonight in those who were personally touched and had the honor of being blessed by having him pour into my life. I can say that in the 1980s, as a student at Sacred Heart Elementary School, at the time, Bishop was our associate priest. As an associate priest, he poured into me and thousands of other students at Sacred Heart. He taught us a firm foundation in Christian morals and values. He taught us about our obligation to the world to engage in humanitarian efforts. But most of all, he taught us about God's profound love for us. So, you know, I don't really know how Bishop says I um, managed to keep up with us as students in elementary school because we were so full of life and energy. And I think I can fairly say that my graduating class may have something to do with a few of the great streaks that I to care today. So on, on behalf of my class, I apologize. <laughs> um, so, you know, in a way, somehow, he found a way to guide us through our holy sacraments and through delivering sermons to us as students with patience, love, and compassion. And because of these lessons, I myself can say that I have had the opportunity to grow in my faith in God as a woman and have compassion as I sit as a judge in family court. So I wasn't surprised to hear about Bishop Sensai's work in the Bahamas and the level of legal advocacy he gave to Haitian immigrants in the Bahamas. Because even today, he stands with me and the Haitian American Lawyers Association. He attends our functions, came and participated in our swearing in ceremony, and allowed the Haitian American Lawyers Association to participate in the planning stages of what will surely be a historic book and documentary, which is to come documenting what Haitians have contributed to the United States of America. Christ teaches us in Mark chapter 12 about God's greatest commandments. First is to love the Lord our God with all our hearts. And second is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Surely, you and I can stand as witnesses and testify that Bishop Sensai's life has been a true testament of the fulfillment of God's greatest commandments.